Hey everybody, welcome back to another MRE taste test video. Today we are going to be trying a Russian military MRE single ration meal. They have a few of these out on the market that you're able to purchase and I'll eventually get through the majority of them. I also have a 24 hour ration kit as well that I'll eventually try. So let's get into this bad boy and open it up and see because I'm kind of hungry and I'm not really up to speed on Russian culture so it will be interesting to try some of their food. Without further ado, here's the food. It looks like it has a little single tear here, so we're gonna open it from there. And it's also resealable. Oh, but there's a box in there. So I don't know if you wanna just put your, your scraps in there or your trash, but you do whatever you want with it. it smells kind of funky in there. <laughs> and we'll open it up. And there it is. It smells fishy. Oh no, I hope there's not fish in there. <laughs> I don't like fish. Let's start pulling this stuff out and hopefully we don't find any fish. On the top here we have some dry fuel and a little portable oven stand thing. I'll show you guys how to use that. I'll set that to the side. I'm just pulling from the top and working my way down. I'm not really sure what this says. Oh, this just looks like coffee. Oh no. No, I feel it. It's a tea bag. Probably a green tea of some sort, hence the leaf. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe salt and pepper. This one looks lighter than this one, so I'm guessing salt and pepper. And this looks like an apple jam of some sort. It's got apples and it feels you know, jammy. And just so you know, it's, it's literally all in Russian. <laughs> not really sure what this is. Probably a drink mix. It kind of feels like one. Sounds like one. Oh, what is this? Is this a menu? And it's all in Russian. I'm not sure what this is. Really terrified. See, I don't like trying new things, but I need to, which is why I'm doing this. Here we got some crackers, biscuits. Some of them are broken, but some of them made it on the other side. Same thing, more crackers. Biscuits, or whatever you want to call it. Don't know what this is. It's got a two different compartments, a white side and a green side. And here's the main meal. Let me know what this is in the comments below. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna heat this up, so hopefully it'll take, taste pretty good. And it comes with a spoon as well. Nice white spoon. What is this? More Russian and more Russian. Now this looks like a moisture packet and a napkin. That's kind of a rinky dinky napkin as far as napkins go. All right, let's start making our food real quick. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use this right here. I'm not gonna cook it on this. I'm gonna cook it on a little portable you know, stove top that I have because I don't really want to Use this indoors with the fumes and all that. Oh, it's so sticky. Why are you so sticky? I think this is what was smelling so bad. Yep, it's just little discs of dried fuel. And it burns really well. Okay, we just fold this up. Like this. Like that. And you fold these little legs down to make a stand. Place it down. Put your dry fuel in there. Light it up with some matches if you happen to have some on hand. None of them came in this particular MRE. But then you just set your food on there and it heats it up. But I happen to have this guy right here. So we're going to set this on here. We're going to open it up first and smell it. Oh, it doesn't smell bad at all. Ugh. Ugh. That doesn't look good at all, either. Mmm, <laughs> doesn't that look appetizing? It smells like beef, though. I think this is, like, beef fat. I'm not sure. But let's cover this up. We, wanna, we don't want to close it and cook it because it might pop off on us. Heating up, and we're going to set it over here right now. I'm not sure what this is. I think I think this is like a pate. 
Oh, no, what is that? I like sweet potatoes or squash? I bet you that's squash. This is heating up pretty good over here. Let's mix it though so we don't burn it. Oh no, I just broke my spoon. No, not fully, just cracked it. Let's open this tea up. Oh, let's set this back over here real quick. Let's see this. This is our tea bag. So, you know what, let me go get some warm water real quick. All right, we're looking good over here, so I'm gonna turn the heat off to that. I got some warm water for my tea bag. We'll just let that bob around for a little bit while we're trying some other stuff. Uh, what is this? I think this is a drink. So let's get some water in here. Let's clean off our meat spoon. <laughs> Get this poured in here. Oh, I hope this is a drink. Unless it was just straight up sugar. Was this just straight up sugar? I think this was just straight up sugar. <laughs> I don't know, we'll, we'll try it. I mean, okay. <laughs> or salt. <laughs> We're gonna find this out. This, this is the uh, downfall of not being able to read a certain language. Check on my tea over here. It's looking good. Not sure what this is. I think this is salt. Yeah, okay, this is salt, so it makes me a little less paranoid about that drink over there. Bam! Let's open these crackers and get them ready for us. They smell pretty old. Ooh. All right, let's get this over here. Ah, son of a nutcracker! There it is. Can you see it pretty well? There, I can definitely see some uh, beef in there. Let me try to pull a little chunk out. It's got to be beef, right? Beef right there. Let's give this a go. There goes nothing. Hmm. It almost just tastes like beef and potatoes. It's not bad at all. I was very terrified of this one. There's like some orange stuff in there as well. A carrot. Hmm. It's actually really good. Very hot. <laughs> I just might eat this whole thing. Hmm. I have an itch in my ear. If this is what Russian food is like, sign me up for Russia. Next we have this squash looking thing. So I'm just gonna dip this cracker in there and give it a go. I mean, I, I assume that's what you're supposed to do with it. Mm. Oh, not bad. I think it's just pretty much squash puree, which I don't eat a lot of squash. I should, I should though. This isn't bad. And this MRE was made in 2018. So it's about two years old right now. Somebody call the mess police. Right, let's drink this sugar water. I'm pretty sure it's just sugar water. Yeah, that was straight up sugar that I mixed into there. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Honest mistake. But I know that this is tea. So let's try the tea. It's very tea-y. It doesn't have any pronounced flavors like lemon in it. But you know what? I think the sugar was for this. Still good though. <laughs> kind of just dive in before you really know what's happening. I'm pretty sure this is apple jam. Let's give this a go. There it is. Oh, doesn't that look satisfying? Ooh, put this on our little cracker here. Oh! <laughs> I got stabbed in the throat. These crackers are throwing me off a little bit. It's like once you get past the old thrift store smell and taste, it's not too bad, especially with this jam on there.
trying to see if there, there's a difference between these crackers. No, I think they're the same. Nope, thrift store. I'm really not sure what this is. So let's just tear it open and see. Two compartments. Oh, okay. All right. A little wet naps. So one for you to clean your hands before and one for you to clean your hands after. So that was it. That was my very first taste test of any Russian food whatsoever. Like just straight from Russia. And I wasn't turned off by it. It's fairly good. I wish they came with like an actual drink though. And I didn't make the mistake of just putting sugar in water. <laughs> it's like sugar in water from Men in Black. Any cockroach men walking around here, I'll just offer them that. All right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you did like the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video when I try more things.